And as you start to look at what's next for the Titans, Derrick Henry is a free agent. Ryan Tannehill is a free agent. If I'm the Titans, I don't bring either one back. Hot. I don't. Because I look at Raheem Mostert and go, do I need to bring Derrick Henry back at a big price tag? Plus, how long can you get that kind of mileage out of a running back who is a physical running back? Now, granted, he hits you as hard as you're hitting him. Maybe he hits you harder. But do I bring back Ryan Tannehill? Do I bring back Derrick Henry? I wouldn't just because I don't want to pay a lot of money at that position at running back. And have I seen enough with Ryan Tannehill that I'm comfortable with that he can win games? Now, it's almost like if you're bringing back one, then you bring back the other. If I bring back Derrick Henry, then I'll bring back Tannehill. Because I do believe you can win with that combination. The question is, are you going to be a 9-7 and seven team again? Are you going to be a 10? Like, how great can you be? Love their coach. I thought they've got some younger talent at the skill positions there. But if you're going to take inventory there, how much are they going to cost me? How much is Tannehill going to cost me? Am I going to get maybe a Nick Foles situation? Well, I won't even get that. But am I going to get a situation where I, I'm paying a quarterback a lot of money and I don't get that kind of production out of him that you want when you're paying somebody that – like San Francisco with Jimmy G. He doesn't give you – he wins. He wins. But we're still waiting. I think we still have a question mark with him. But you're paying him elite quarterback money. But I, I would not go all – as much as I love what Henry did and maybe he finishes second in the MVP race – I would not give him that kind of money. Yeah, Paul. If you're the Titans and you got, he's going to be 32 next year, Ryan Tannehill. Could you offer him two years, $50 million? So you're not maxing him out in any way. He gets a whole truckload of dough for two years and you're not committed for the long term. But you have a good quarterback now who's in his air quotes prime. But I'm going to have to pay Derrick Henry and Derrick Henry is not coming at a two year contract. We have a solution for that. Okay. The Derrick Henry solution. The uh, franchise tag, it basically for 2020, this is the estimated cost. Okay. If you wanted to franchise tag a quarterback for one year, it's $27 million. Okay. That's the max. The lowest cost to franchise any position except for a punter kicker is the running back position, $10 million. You could $10 million for Derrick Henry for one year, and then you never have to pay him the big Todd Gurley deal. You still have him next year. If you have a good competitive team, you didn't let him go go. And then you draft another running back in the second round uh, next year. Well, I think the guy who's going to be in demand is uh, Conklin. I, I I think he's 25, and he's a tackle, and, and he's he's the guy that I would m- want to make sure I keep. Like, I got to pay to keep him. But if you're going to bring back Derrick Henry for a year, okay. And Tannehill for two years? So that's a, the ideal world. Yeah. Yes, McLovin. If you franchise tag him, won't he sit out or cause – problems and like this always goes wrong with it running could. backs it could i think i mean obviously melvin gordon was a disaster but ezekiel elliott has also been messing with every time they tag him it becomes messy yes he this is the year of ten thousand free agent quarterbacks though couldn't you pick up a veteran on a one year who's maybe just barely holding on saucy so we got tom brady well maybe you bring in tom brady and you don't bring in you know vrabel and brady tennessee tom i don't know <laughs> I like how uh, CBS treated this like it was breaking news that Tom Brady is a free agent or, or going to be a free agent. <laughs> he, he's it, like, I think everybody, Tom Curran's been talking about this for uh, months now about Brady going to be a free agent. Tannehill, Philip Rivers moved to Florida, moved the family to Florida. Marcus Mariota is going to be a free agent. Case Keenum, Teddy Bridgewater, uh, Jameis Winston, Eli Manning, uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Uh, Andy Dalton, I think, is going to be available, right? Joe Flacco might be available. There's a lot of guys that are going to be available there. Yes, McLovin. You're not bringing in Joe Flacco over, right? I know, I, I know. I'm just saying that there's a lot of guys out there. Yes, Todd. If Brady finds his way to the Chargers, which a lot of people like to buzz about, Mahomes, Brady twice every year or for as long as Brady would play could be really hot in the AFC West. Yeah, I don't know how many years it would be. <laughs> I don't you know, Tom is now, and there's a report that, and, and is there a quote attributed to Brady where he said that he was embarrassed with his salary this year? I, I believe, which I don't know if he was embarrassed by his salary. We'll take it if he wants to relieve that embarrassment. 
Yeah, but I, I don't know if this is Giselle saying, you know, come on, Tom. you got to get out there and make some money. I'm tired of carrying you. <laughs> like he, he's making some pretty good coin here. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.